Hi, my name is Steph Thorne and I'm Director of Business Engagement and Entrepreneurship at the University of Suffolk. Till very recently, like many of you, I was not based at home, but based down on the Ipswich Waterfront in the Innovation Centre on the University of Suffolk campus. Um, the Ipswich Waterfront Innovation Centre and the Business Engagement team have been working remotely to develop a responsive, effective and valuable set of resources to make sure our university is connected to our business communities and able to support your recovery during what is developing into a very difficult year for all of us, many of you in the communities within which we live. University of Suffolk is very much a community impact university. We are strongly embedded and developed within Suffolk, within our local re region, a university of and for the people of Suffolk. Our national and international impact through research and innovation brings recognition and opportunity to the region and supports regional growth and development. We became an independent university in August 2016 and have been growing ever since, but very much with the needs of the locality and the business community at the forefront of our strategies for growth. Going forward, training, funding, research and innovation will be key to economic recovery. And at the university, we have academic expertise, student and graduate talent to enable your development and recovery. For the last couple of years, the teams attended the Anglia Business Exhibition, set up our stall, uh, shared our resources, shared the offer, share what we refer to often as a knowledge exchange offer. Knowledge exchange is a term that's often bandied about universities and higher education circles, um, but essentially refers to any action through which knowledge and research is shared between universities and partner organisations and turned into impact for society and the economy. The breadth of the ways in which this has been achieved across the UK has been well demonstrated by the response of universities to the current COVID-19 crisis. The many, many contributions by universities includes vital research into tests and vaccines, the development of protective equipment um, and the sharing of protective equipment. Many healthcare students have graduated early and enrolled in the NHS. Many university of staff have gone back to the NHS and many have used their knowledge and skills in different ways to support the fight back um, and the support of our students and graduates. The university's links between industry, community and our staff have supported responses to the COVID-19 crisis so far um, with our School of Health and Wellbeing, with the purposing, repurposing of our 3D printers to print visors, working with BT to distribute them to where they are needed most, um, and our School of East collaborating on the Tribe Community app, we also have all of our apprentices and alumni who are working across industries to support this emerging new world. Our Suffer Business School is introducing a free series of sessions on leadership and management and our CPD offer is building so that you'll be able to access training virtually while remote working and for when you are back in the workplace. This isn't a one way street. The wealth of knowledge, experience and insight our business community can bring to our students and graduates is vital for their skills development, for their attribute development and for their attitude development. Businesses can, trip, can contribute in so many ways through guest lectures, engaging with the validation and development of our courses and course teams, offering work experience, jobs and ensuring that the needs of business are met by the educational offer of the University of Suffolk. Additionally, effective knowledge sharing between universities and businesses We'll also be able to demonstrate to the UK government that the sector is playing an active role in helping reach the target spend of 2.4% of GDP on research and development by 2027. And this will be vital to the recovery of Suffolk, the wider region and the UK from the current current crisis. And it will ensure that the UK remains a global leader in addressing, addressing the challenges that lie ahead. Yesterday at the university, we launched the We Are Together With Business programme, which details of which can be found on our website and social media channels. And I'm going to provide an overview of the programme, which is just one of the initiatives we will be launching this year. I hope the key takeaway from this session will be that we are here to be a value to you. And we are currently working with industry and organisations across Suffolk in a variety of ways, in ways that make best use of our talents, resources and expertise, as well as being targeted at the specific needs of those around us. Under the broad themes of health and wellbeing, leadership and management, recovery and resilience, our programme of virtual breakfast, webinars, networking and CPD sessions will bring opportunities for you to engage and upskill with, your academic with our academic teams. The framework for delivery will be that the sessions are delivered as bite-sized, key-sized and webinised. And we have a taster session for one of our bite-sized sessions on the website from Dr Sean Preston within the School of Engineering, Arts, Science and Technology. These bite-sized sessions are tasters of the wider CPD programme. 
mini masterclasses or nuggets of insight for some of our industry facing staff. Key size, the sessions are a slightly longer session and actually put our quite popular key to growth business breakfast online. Academics will present on a variety of topics using a business breakfast format with plenty of opportunities for Q&A and virtual networking. Um, and sessions will be focused on items like lockdown friendly marketing sessions, performance psychology, refocusing, rethinking your segmentation, targeting and positioning. The webinar sessions are potentially a bit longer and are really directed at the challenges facing businesses at this time. Um, sessions include eating to enhance productivity, writing the outdoors indoors, enterprise skills sessions, effective mentoring of apprenticeships, and the programme will continue to develop throughout 2020 to reflect demand. So suggestions for sessions are welcomed at engage at uos.ac.uk. Registration is available from today. Our Games Hub manager, Heidi Love, is pivoting the Games Hub programme that we run for our third year computer science students to deliver a six week virtual enterprise and entrepreneurship skills programme for all budding entrepreneurs within Suffolk, including students and graduates who would like to learn the basics of setting up a business. There are a limited number of places uh, of 10 available on this programme initially, which begins on the 30th of June. Uh, um, and the first session will be a Q&A session to help you explore whether this would be a benefit to you. The university's first iTeams, um, which is funded by ERA, will be running virtually from the 1st of October 2020. Originating at MIT and first implemented by the University of Cambridge in 2006, the iTeams programme is a great way for you to bring fresh thinking and new ideas to your organisation. By combining a team of interdisciplinary students with industry mentors, participants work together to develop a product solution for issues affecting you. So if you're a business within Suffolk with a problem that you'd like a team of students to work on, please do contact Heidi Love at iteams at uos.ac.uk. Goes without saying, our students and graduates are our greatest assets. The University of Suffolk is a source of talent and many of our students are studying business management, innovation, entrepreneurship, marketing, graphic design, computer design and digital, digital technology solutions. Many may already be working with you as our alumni or as apprenticeships and using their skills to support your business at this time. And many will be working this summer to support agritech and our farming industry. Um, many are working within our local and regional hospitals. Huge amounts of students, apprentices and alumni are now in hospitals supporting the fight against the epidemic and the recovery of many of you, your friends and your families. If you're a business whose planned events and marketing for the rest of the year have been disrupted um, for the foreseeable future and you'd be interested in a student working with you on placement to support your virtual offer, we have a number of students within the Suffolk Business School who are studying marketing or events and tourism and looking for placements this summer and autumn. Uh, if you're interested, please do, please do contact us um, and we'll put you in touch with Jonathan Harvey, our senior lecturer in tourism events and management. We also have 17 virtual remote internships um, available under the themes of creative digital, AI and biotech, uh, available to businesses looking to employ a University of Suffolk student or graduate this summer, either part time or fun full time. Uh, this is funded through the ERA programme. Um, uh, the students are employed by you and the university will support you in advertising and recruitment. Key thing is there's funding of 85% available to SMEs, so that you only pay 15% for an internship. Many of you may have seen that our 3D printer has been redeployed. Our 3D printer productivity suite has been redeployed, redeployed to support the printing of essential visors for distribution to healthcare workers across our region. And we've been working with a number of organisations, including BT, to distribute them to where they're needed most. Um, beyond the printers, we do have other facilities for hire and specialist equipment to support not only your response to COVID-19, but to support your prototyping uh, your innovation projects and your access to science facilities for R&D that we know it can be difficult to invest in or even accommodate in-house. So if you're a business and you'd like to explore prototyping further with us um, using our facilities to develop products to support your return to work um, and your business recovery, please email 3dprinting at uos.ac.uk. So today I've given a really brief snapshot of the ways in which you, you can work with you to support your recovery and resilience. There is a lot more um, and we would like to hear from you directly, uh, get feedback, understand the demand and see what you need from the University of Suffolk. To contact a business development manager for a conversation about how we can work with you, 
please email engage at uos.ac.uk or follow the Ipswich Waterfront Innovation Centre and Business Engagement Team on Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, that keeps you up to date on what we're doing at the moment and gives you an uh, opportunity to contact us directly to have a conversation about how we can support you, uh, not just during this time, but beyond with your research and development, with your innovation, with your employment needs, your workforce development needs. Uh, opportunities are endless.